Hi, uh, welcome back to the course. Today we'll be learning how to get out of a house and socialize with people. Just kidding, uh, we won't be doing anything difficult today. Damn! But we'll be making a photo app, uh, an app in which there will be an image and a text. And we'll learn how to run it in our Android phone. Uh, let's make the app. New project. Let's name this photo app. Finish. So this is our UI page, user interface. Let's delete this hello world because we don't need that. Okay, this is our XML code and this is our uh, design. Okay, let so we are going to add a image to our screen. So and for that, go to palette and look for a image view. Let's drag the image view and paste it here. Now, this image is a view. So let me explain what a view is. So what is a view? Uh, you can imagine a view to be a rectangular box which responds to a user's inputs. So this image writer is a image view and there's text view and this button is also a view because it responds to the user. So what is a view group? Uh, these three views uh, combine together to form a view group or a layout. This white background, which you can see here, is called a layout, is a layout. And that layout contains these three views, the image, the text, and the button. So if you like change the background image of the layout, this white color right here will be uh, changed to the color you change it to. So there are like uh, many layouts in Android Studio and they are a constraint layout. There's linear, relative and frame layout. So that can, a layout can also contain another layout. So there can be a layout inside a layout. So if you don't understand everything fully right now, don't worry. Uh, you'll like uh, get the hang of it once we work on Android Studio back to android studio uh, we have already placed our image view but if you see here uh, you can see a red underline here that means there's some error in this code so let's see what that error is it's saying missing constraints so uh, whenever we use constraint layout we are using constraint layout right now whenever we use constraint layout we need to specify constraints for each view constraint is like specifying a connection uh, with a view with another view so we need to add constraints for this image view right here we can do that by let's say vertically so there's a constraint form between this image view and the top of the parent layout if you see here yeah constraint layer top to top of parent that means the top of the image view is aligned to or connected to the top of the parent and we also need to add a horizontal constraint okay cool now the error is gone let's add a text view We also need to uh, give constraints for the text view now. Let's. So uh, we can either give constraints to parent or to this view. Let's try both. First, let me. Okay. Now the, the top of the text view is connected to the bottom of the image view. Now let's see what happens if we ah, 
now the text view is connected to the top of the parent you can clearly see the difference so uh, let's we can remove our constraints with this thing okay vertical mental same thing for this cool now the text view that you are seeing here is barely visible so let's increase the text size and to do that we can either hard code it here or we can go to attributes and so let's search for text size Text size, let's increase the size to say 24. SP means spaces, 24 spaces. 34, okay. Now let's edit the text to let's say Android. Android. Okay, cool. Now let's change the text color search for text color yeah. done to add our image to this image view we first need to add that image to our project right here we need to upload it in drawable and let's see okay this is our file okay this is our file uh, let's copy this and cool now our image is added and nice okay it's inside a drawable folder as you can see now now to access that we need to specify the image in this image view and how to do that just go here and drawable android cool now just change this tools to app i'll tell you why we are doing this in my later videos but yeah now uh, let's change our layouts background so as we know we are like working on a single layout now that is a constraint layout and inside constraint layout there's a image view and the text view to get a better picture of this just go on to component tree right here and you'll be able to see uh, there's a constraint layout and inside constraint layout there's a image view and the text view so cool let's add a background to our layout android background a drawable background. the name of the file image file cool okay the text is not visible let's change the color to white cool now let's run our app okay now we are going to run our app directly in our android phone and for that uh, you need to like set up few things in your phone and i'll be showing my phone screen right now so go to settings and open about phone and press your build number seven times since i have already did this step uh, i'm getting a different prompt but you may get something saying that uh, you have uh, enabled developer options now go to system and developer options and make sure uh, go down and make sure that usb debugging is turned on okay this uh, developer enabling developer set options might be different depending on your phone so just uh, do a quick 
Google search on how to enable developer options in your phone. Uh, I'm having OnePlus Nord, so uh, if you are having OnePlus, then this is the steps are exactly same for you. Now, uh, now connect your phone to your PC with a USB cable, and once you did that, your phone uh, will be shown in this running devices tab. Now you can run your app in directly in your phone and let's run this. Cool, uh, we have successfully ran our app directly in our phone. So I'll be providing all these resources, the Android uh, image the background and this entire project the photo app code uh, in description so go check it out and yeah stay tuned for the next video